actually do think that a, 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 a whatever it's called, when people talk a lot about things they care about. So, so box. So box. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, we're things they hate. <laughs> we're things they hate. Um, I think uh, so box is, is not a bad thing, and if we set a clear time limit, that's great. Um, half an hour seems possibly long to me. But what I would just, what I would suggest if we're going to do that is that we make it first, like it was suggested, like even frankly before a lot of explanation about things and start the meeting exactly on time so that we get this thing going and if people are filtering in late, they're filtering in as soapbox is taking place. Mm -hmm. And then we can actually mm -hmm. start the, you know, we, we often start our meetings a half an hour late anyways and then we can actually start the productive portion. I mean, well, no, Soapbox is very productive, but we can start the agenda for portion earlier. That's just a thought. And I'm all for, on other meetings, having a scheduled Soapbox, you know, early and really, like, giving attention to it. I'm just thinking about how do we do this if the goal is actually to try and come up with a strategy. If, can I do a quick temp check? Am I alone in that, or is your people, we on the, on the same page, that that was part of the intention for this particular GA? Strategizing, strategizing. Yeah, yeah. We're working towards the strategy. Working yeah, towards yeah. the strategy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, anyways, I've got, um, I've got a, a kind of a, a plan here that I've been thinking about. I love input um, about how to actually go about this meeting. Um, I think it addresses some of the concerns that I've, I've heard. Um, and if I'm facilitating it, then I'll be using this this focus, which and I brought I wrote down. So start out with the, just an intro and a welcome. Set a clear time frame of uh, you know three hours, three and a half hours, whatever we decide. Um, be very clear about the uh, with an explanation about opening and opening and closing stack. A clarity around what is consensus and really focusing on the fact that it doesn't mean you love everything that is being proposed, but that you're not that you're willing to actually let the group make progress. Um, and work, talk about max five stack. One of the reasons I want to do this is, is that I, very, I frankly want to take a very hard facilitation stance at this particular GA. I don't mind being an asshole. Um, and I'm going to explain that at the very beginning that I'm going to be hard and expect it. And you're not, a, like, you know, as long as we're all on the same page, so hopefully I'll see if people are okay with that. <laughs> but as long as we're all on the same page, then you can't get too mad when I actually cut you off. I might say that the only flexibility that I can see is I'll, I might allow for a little bit of flexibility for new, like, people who are there for the very first time. Mm -hmm. um, but, but, but even so, be relatively hard, like, hard in facilitation. And I'm open, like I said. Um, I would then like to explain the actual process that I'm explaining to you to everybody else so they know exactly how it's going to look and how it's going to operate. I'd then like to explain what the difference is between goals, objectives, and tactics. And uh, really focusing on the fact that the way that I'm defining these and that I'd like us to work in this particular meeting is that goals are broad, overarching things that we care about and we want to accomplish that are accomplishable but are broad and overarching, whereas objectives are concrete, uh, I wrote these down, Con concrete, clear, and accomplishable tasks in a way, like things that fit into larger goals. So a goal might be to, to dismantle NDAA legislation over the course of 2012. Objectives might be to, you know, to gather a rally of a thousand people in Richmond to, to speak out against this or gather petitions for you know, 10,000 signatures. Those are clear, concrete objectives that lead into larger overarching goals. And then tactics are how do we go about accomplishing the objectives that we've set that lead into the goals that, we've had, that we have. And so I'm going to be clear that the, that the goal for this particular meeting would be to at least get a set of goals on the table for us and if possible, also break those goals out into objectives, um, with, the goal, with the goal being two to five overarching goals for the year, and one to five objectives per goal, um, and then potentially beyond that, one to five tactics per objective. I'm sorry. Ooh, wait, can you, can you, you repeat you. those numbers? Yeah, wait, yeah. <laughs> so what I was going to propose was two to five overarching goals for the year. I mean, and goals, I mean, they're broad, so it could be increase Orva's numbers to at least 200 active people. It could be dismantle NDAA legislation. It could be to have a powerful voice in the Virginia General Assembly and block 
you know, X bills. You know, if you want to be like the bills would be objectives within the goal of like being having a strong presence at the Virginia General Assembly. Um, I'm, you know, these are just things that I've kind of heard about. Um, you know, another goal could be to out to do good outreach and to really, you know, create coalitions within our community. And since people seem to be very interested in the Virginia People's Assembly, the Virginia People's Assembly would be an objective within that overarching goal. Um, so that's, I think it could be really helpful to be clear about what the difference is between these goals, objectives, and tactics, and make it clear that we really want to focus the beginning on the overarching things, but be clear that these things are not conceptual. A goal has to be accomplishable by definition. It has to be something that can actually be, be done and, like, and, and, and accomplished. Um, then from there, with that explanation, have everybody break into small groups to thresh out the goals that we've been thinking and talking about and threshing over the past three weeks. We've been talking about things that people care about generally, and this is the opportunity for people to try and coalesce all of these thoughts and ideas and conversations into clear, concrete goals. Bring them back, and groups will present between one to five goals to the larger group. It'll get written down on big whiteboards or pieces of paper so they're clearly seen by everybody. And this would include pre-submitted goals. If people have goals that they've been thinking about that they can articulate into clear things, it'd be great if we could have five to ten of these things already ready to go at this meeting because we've already been thinking about a whole bunch of things. But I want to make sure this meeting creates the opportunity for people to con you know, continue to thresh together and new people might be there for the first time, get their voices heard, that kind of a thing. Point of clarification? Yeah, would these goals be proposals? No, they're not proposals. So the the mean, entire thing is a proposal. So these are goals that would that would move in. Like these are goals that we want to look at as a part of an overarching strategy. That we're uh, this what you're presenting right now is that something you would like to see on Sunday? This is uh, this, is exactly, this is exactly what I want. Okay. To, this is how I'd so like to run this on Sunday. If we were to do that, that would not leave room for proposals, right? For other proposals. That was my point. If so, we do this, it'll probably take us three hours. Okay, so another question is, is if we were to do that, which I think is awesome, uh, maybe what we should do is put a call out there for anyone who has proposals, put them online, put them on paper, bring them to GA, and the next GA is specifically for proposals, maybe? So that this one's more of like a uh, visioning GA and soapbox GA? Because that's pretty much all we would have time to do. Well, well, hold on, let me finish. And, okay. Because I'd actually like to get to a point where we, we don't just vision, we actually okay. agree upon things, okay. like in an overarching okay. set, sense. So the idea would be then to get everything up there, and then a, what, something I've seen that's worked pretty well is to just get whatever the small groups come up with in a clear, visible place, go over them, and then just temp check every single one of them. And not even spend much time on any particular one, but just temp check them, because of the... 15 goals that might get up there, there may be three that have consensus already and receive full consensus out of those 15. If our goal is three to five, two to five goals for the year, we may have it there, you know, at least the beginnings of that kind of a thing. So let people temp check how they feel about each one of these goals that are up there and star anything that's really good. And whatever comes out of that, I would then recommend that we go back, and this is, this is where you might disagree with me, but then to try and prioritize, if we want to, within those goals. Um, so by simply taking, if we've already consensed we like these goals, you know, we temp check, people are into these goals, these three that, of the 15, then to say, just take a vote, like, which one is your favorite, which is the most important to you, and I think having, like, trying to consent on priority is really challenging, but just seeing where the, where, like, the body is most invested within those goals, and take a, a temp check priority. And of course, anybody could work on any goal at any time. I don't think we'd have to say that because one goal was prioritized as number one, it was the only thing that got our attention. But that just was an idea that I had. Then I would suggest a break, because now we theoretically have some goals that people are supportive of. And then come back, and it, like that could be the end. That could be the end. If that actually, my, my hope is that that whole process would take about an hour and a half. I could be crazy. Um, but then I'm hoping that we could break and come back and then do a similar thing with objectives where people would we'd break down the goals that we found we had some agreement on and people would break into small groups to talk about those specific goals and talk about objectives they'd like to see us tackle within those goals, come back, present those to the group, temp check those things, and anything that has clear consensus 
just goes in. And then, then basically, we would take all of this information, and actually you're right, we're not, we're not necessarily consensing on this thing right then, because then people would take all of this information and try and put it together into something that's coherent, because one question that I have is, maybe there's 10 goals that people really love, do we break that down by quarter? Do we break that down by month? Do we break that down just very broadly and say we're going to try and tackle all these 10 things across the year? There could be some formatting to the whole thing that could be valuable. And then a group does that in a small group format after the GA, brings it back to the GA the, the next day, which would be where we'd hopefully be able to consensus relatively quickly because most of the consensus work would have already been done on, on that work. Um, and then, and then ideally, one thing that was pointed out that is really important is then to assign point people to each clear objective, or if a goal doesn't have objectives, to assign point people to that, um, or to, uh, to find out who's interested in that. So I absolutely agree with you, Josh, that we can't strategize unless we have goals. And when I talk about a strategy, in my mind, a strategy is the overarching thing that encompasses goals, and it also is like the way by which we work to accomplish our goals, so it includes objectives and strategy. But actually, the real focus of this meeting would be to flush out the goals more specifically and let that be a strategy. And then the idea is that once we have goals and objectives, we literally take the point people for those things, we send them off and say, come back to us in a week with your tactics about how you're going to actually accomplish your objectives or goals, or two weeks, or whatever it is. Or if it's something that clearly we won't want to focus on until September, we address that later in the year when we get to that. But the idea being that tactics are so like basic and there's so many ways you do things, I wouldn't want to even attempt to tackle that in a GA format. I would want small groups who feel passionately about those goals and objectives to work on tactics for those things. So sorry that was long. That's that's what I'd that's what I would suggest though. And I'd hold on. There's there's people that are waiting for that one. Silver, you're one of them. Okay. Do I start now? Yeah, go ahead. Come on. Everyone else has questions can just get up and get in line, I think. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, I, I think there are going to be new people at, at the meeting on January 8th, just because people people will probably be surprised that Occupy Richmond is still going. Uh, I haven't been to a GA in a long time myself, so I'm looking forward to it. But uh, I think it should be a fun meeting. I like the idea of having the... Uh, the soapbox at the beginning of the meeting, I like limiting it to half an hour. Uh, I do hate long meetings. I'm not looking forward to a three and a half hour meeting or, or possibly longer. I think it would be enough if we just got goals out of out of the meeting. That that would and then also there's something that I just uh, experienced uh, going to city council meeting yesterday. Uh, I didn't think really anything happened, or I thought there was just like one thing that was important about the meeting. But then I was talking to the, about the meeting to a friend. The next day, and then I realized that there were actually like three important things that happened at yesterday's meeting. And you don't realize everything that's going on at a meeting, and then you start thinking about it like that evening after the meeting or the next day, and it starts to stew, and you start to see things that you didn't see while you were there. And so I think uh, if we could get goals and then have a little stew, whether it's one day or, or a few days, uh, but stew on the stuff, and then I think people. Also, that will give time to disseminate the goals that have been established by the group, and, and it will allow more people to, to, and then for the next strategy time, you'll have, you know, more people knowing what's going on, and probably with lots of opinions, uh, and I guess then, then that's when you can develop your objectives and tactics, but that's just my two cents. Thank you. Thank you. Was, that, was that a full meeting with City Council? No. Okay. Governmental operations. Um, it's always interesting what you raise, <laughs> when, when the point you're trying to make in your head when you're getting like in line to speak, and then what you fall on. So I'll say immediately, I I agree with that. Um, I think your hour and a half estimate could be a little um, small, and that it would be great if we could just get some goals out. And I, I think Silver, you made a good point that a little stew time would be nice. Um, get some more people know what's going on, disseminate the information about these goals, and um, then we could possibly discuss objectives and, and tactics. Um, though maybe there'll be time-sensitive issues with the Virginia General Assembly beginning this week. Um, uh, so I, I agree with that. I guess I got in line to speak earlier. 
I, I, um, sorry, I did not mean to cut anyone off. I don't like to interrupt. Um, but I was going to say that with um, GA procedures and things, I think historically in this group, um, in Occupy Richmond, it seems to be that the facilitation team goes to GA and says, hey, we, we'd like to try this. Is this okay? And it's either consensed upon or not. Um, it, that being said, if, if that's going to happen, hopefully it's not a lot of changes, and those changes are specific, going to be effective, and well thought out, um, so that we don't have to spend a lot of time consenting or, you know, people asking, oh, well, what, 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 what purpose does this serve, or why, you know, um, to avoid discussing it for too long. And I really like Graham's layout for this um, meeting. Um, I know people probably have some specific proposals they've been thinking about and kicking around in their heads that they'd like to bring. Um, I like that he said that this could also include pre-submitted goals. Uh, my question is, how does one pre-submit? And let's get that. If, if this group tonight decides, or the facilitation group decides that they like this format, then we need to get that information out there a few, at least a few days in advance so people have enough time to like know how they can participate um, or get the information to, to our group about what their goals will be. Um, but yeah, that's all, that's all my points. I'm done. Cool. Um, beautifully written plan, Graham, by the way. Um, uh, a couple things. Um, firstly, I think that limiting the decision as to what our 2012 goals are going to be to one meeting, especially when half of our participants who are students still aren't even in town because it's the 8th, probably isn't a good idea. Um, but I think that if we made it like the first three months of 2012 strategy meeting, that, that could be effective because it gives us a very clear deadline. It gives us sort of a sense of urgency to get these things done. Um, that's something to consider. I think that um, we're all very, very privileged because we're in this room and we've just heard a potential process and we'll walk into this meeting understanding what the process is and then we'll premeditate how we're gonna fit ourselves into the process. Yeah, you're gonna have a whole lot of people coming in who are new who aren't going to understand where they can fit themselves into this. Um, and they won't have been thinking about their goals a lot before they got there, maybe. Um, I also think that part of your proposal was that um, the 15th would be when we unveil our strategy. Um, correct? No? Mm -hmm. Was it the 8th? Uh, the 8th was when, so this is just going off of the proposal that was made three weeks ago. Right. The idea was to use the to use the seventh to work to to like get ideas on the table for mm -hmm. strategy generally um, and focus in 2012, and then send that to a small group to format it into a mm -hmm. meaningful way. Already knowing that there's some consensus on it all, mm -hmm. which would be returned the next day on Monday for consensus. And the the point of that was simply to have something in preparation for the you know knowing that the Virginia General Assembly and uh, and other things were happening early in the year and trying to get some stuff on paper and ready for ourselves before then. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be that way. Yeah. I mean, I think, um, I, think it, I think it just feels a little rushed to try to do a lot of these things in one meeting, especially on the 8th, I mean, especially when we consider that so much of our support has been from student populations. Like if you look at back, back at Kanawha, just like how many people were there who were VCU students and a lot of them just aren't in town yet. Don't know how this is going to work. Um, there's no process determined yet for submitting those predetermined goals or pre thought out goals. Um, I mean, I really like the structure, I like how it's put together. I just don't know that this Sunday would be the time to unveil it. I think maybe if we had a very, like, a typical GA like what Ron put together, maybe tweaked a little bit to fit more or so in with, with the process we were using so that we're not giving them drastic changes at once. If we made a proposal that the next GA, like Monday, 
that we operate along these parameters um, or something like that. I ju it just feels very, very rushed, very confined to me to determine something that's going to govern our activities for an entire year. Um, I think seasonally we can do something like this, but to, to determine all of our activities for an entire year by the body that shows up on Sunday seems very restricting to me. and almost seems a little exclusive as well, because people who show up are in the know. But I think it's well thought out. I like it. Chris? Yeah, um, I uh, have been talking to um, the people who are work for the Department of General Services, and they're the people who uh, control the grounds at the state capitol. And I have brought, uh, I think, about 10 applications for the use of state capital grounds, um, and I have brought a copy of an application for a permit <coughs> that I have uh, um, I have sent on behalf of myself fairly exclusively, but using the name of Political Action of Occupy Richmond. Um, I have been informing people for since before Occupy Richmond started that that we were going to be back and. I guess I didn't use the word occupying the state grounds, but that we were going to be back and have a constant presence. Um, we had dis I had discussions with Christy Martin about um, the restrictive nature of the permits and stating that uh, that events can only last for one hour. And then I said, "Well, we're going to apply for permits for." five events a day, or all of our events are non-events, and then she seemed to understand what I was saying because um, I stated that we were going to occupy the space and that they couldn't, couldn't really stop us, and we're just going to be there as individuals, which is what I stated in my, uh, um, they, it's an it's a unusual uh, uh, application, and it says, it, it, it asks for incorporations of groups People are, who are principal, uh, um, principal uh, officers in the group, and people's t you know titles within the group. So I stated that there were no titles, there was no authority, and the only authority was the United States Constitution, as discussed with Christy Martin, who is the grounds maintenance person, who's been helpful, I guess, over the past three or four months with walking us through the process or walking me through the process, and I've got applications for everyone, I would encourage everyone to fill out an application and, and state whatever reason they want to apply for the application for, and, and I'm advocating that people might want to consider doing the same thing and say, you know, we're just letting you know that we're going to be down there and these restrictive rules, we can, we can say we're having six assemblies a day or six events a day to eight events a day. We can say that we're not a part of a group, we're only acting as individuals and we're, we're in control of our own free will, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There's all sorts of different things that we can do and this is the application process and what I'm also telling these people and what we've been discussing amongst people in Occupy the Hood and Occupy Richmond is that the General Assembly is full of people who are appointed by the corporations and the banks that we're funding, or that are that we're fighting, excuse me, and funding. We are funding them as well, um, and we would have a legitimate meeting body outside. It could be called Occupy Richmond, political action of Occupy Richmond. It could be any number of things, but. It's open to whoever, and that's what also was written down, how many people will show up, whoever wants to show up and have a legitimate assembly while the illegitimate assembly is going on inside, and it be based on exclusive free speech. Who, you know, we have people show up, if it's five people show up, five people get to speak. If it's 500 people show up, 500 people get to speak. And we're occupying the space. We can have separate places where people are meeting constantly around there and discussing the criminal nature of the, the institution that is making the rules that, that violate our constitutional rights. And another tactic is to call BS on all of it because it's all BS, except, except uh, um, 
Are you? I, I didn't know whether you were raising your hand. What, what, yeah. Okay, clarification. Yeah. Um, I was just. I mean, all your stuff. I was just wondering if this fit into the facilitation. I think it, it fits in with the facilitation and conversation as much as anything else that I've heard, and uh, um, and so uh, what I'm what I'm saying is that that uh, um, that. Uh, is there I any mean, way that you can make an announcement at uh, General Assembly about this? Well, I mean, I think somebody was making an announcement that they were going to have a meeting, so I'm calling for a political action meeting. Um, we can meet on Friday evening, whatever I mean, time is good I mean, for anyone else. Well, I'm, I mean, I'm Just not so talking you know, about. I'm not talking about like. Yeah. I mean, we will make this at the okay. General Assembly, but cool. but before we do this at the General Assembly, we're we're working You're now, have a group. and well, we already so do. Pretty, yeah, we just we have like twenty two more minutes to kind of figure out. Right, exactly I understand that. And I, I will say I will Sunday. say this that I'm I'm what's going on Sunday? We're having or we're having our first general GA in three weeks. That's why I was saying maybe this could be a general announcement yeah, we're just for the, the larger body. And the organization of that specific Because we're just talking about yeah. facilitation. Okay, well I mean I guess very directly I would like to say that this is what the political action committee is going to discuss. This is what we've been discussing amongst Many, many participants in okay. Occupy Richmond. So this, right, this should be well. I mean, th are you facilitating this meeting? No, I'm simply thanking you for okay. the work you're doing. Okay, thank you. Uh, um, uh, I appreciate that. And I just think that everyone should put out an application. This is the governing body. Can this I have is one? yeah, of course. Thank you. And uh, um, that this should be open to everyone, not just you know sectionalized into Occupy Richmond activities. This is anyone who has a government. This is this this supersedes Occupy Richmond and Occupy Wall Street. This is saying these governments are illegitimate, and we're not going to like you know pussyfoot around and and uh, um, fight them on every issue that's going to jam us up, which is every issue that they bring up. Everything that they're doing is against us. So we're just going to occupy this space. Whoever shows up, if it's ten people, if it's ten thousand people, and we're going to call them out. And everybody should go through the process, in my opinion, of applying for a permit and saying, this is where we're going to make our stand, wherever the government is operating. Cool. That's cool. I totally, totally agree. Um, I'm just going to get, I guess, um, just so, so we know what's going on right now so far. Um, the three things that we were discussing tonight was uh, the facilitation team, um, the order of the agenda for the 8th, and uh, discussing issues from past, um, combined with the future. Um, and um, we have the um, <clears throat> we have a facilitation uh, work group or team we worked have a out. In that, huh? We did not have a scribe. Yeah, Isaac. I just described. Let, let me run it down real quick. Um, yeah, let's run it off. Sir, temp check. Bentley, stack. Claire, willing to do whatever. Isaac, scribe. Chris, uh, stack. Jeremy, also willing to do anything that we need. Uh, Graham, moderate. Greg, time. And then Josh, you're sort of more the work group, but not, you don't want to do this Sunday. I'd rather not do this. Okay. okay, so I've got so I've got that. Um, okay. The unfortunate thing for me is that I'm not. I mean, I'm happy to moderate this one, but the one I really want to moderate is this one. So as long as if people are okay with me moderating both, I'm not sure if I'm okay with that. But Isn't I would. It, okay. It's but, well, this one. As of right now, this is the work. Yeah, I'm going to get to that. Uh, this yeah. is the work group <laughs> that we have um, set for this Sunday at least. Um, let me just kind of finish real quick. Sure. Yeah. Um, so. Okay, and then um, we pretty much, we do, we have the two, so the only decision we really need to make right now, um, we also have the pamphlet um, to discuss the GA, the rules of GA for this Sunday. Um, and then we have the standard um, General Assembly format that we've been doing with. Um, the only difference, moving the soapbox up slightly, and then um, there's Graham's proposal for a, the strategy meeting. Um, so do you, we want to do a temp check on each of them individually? Mm -hmm. Can we finish out the stack that people have been waiting so patiently mm -hmm. to be on? Sure. Okay, because there might be some stuff added to that. All right. Because um, it's me and then Chris and then who is after? Oh, right, Greg. Okay. Um, uh, I think uh, pre-submitting might be really futile and, and a waste of your time because you're going to be able random people that don't even know how, how to pre-submit tons of them. Or that we're even supposed to. Most people outside of this room will not know how to pre-submit, and it might just be a waste of your time. Um, uh, proposals for shorter amounts of GAs really 
people want that on Sunday, so I'm a little bit concerned because we're, it's very unclear when the next GA is going to be to work this stuff out. It is extremely unclear without that. We were discussing that before you got here, Graham, and I was under the impression that we would go back to the same schedule, and then there's people on here that were under the impression that we did, would not go back to the same schedule, that we didn't even have a schedule set that. So that means setting a GA time during GA, and we all know how that goes. That's fun. Um, does anybody know if there are any other proposals on the table that have been submitted for Sunday? I have not got any. Josh, do you know how many? I've got the, the thing that Danielle and I were working on that we were circulating. And then one that I, that I said could wait, and then Chris is for, and then Chris is for less GAs, right? Yeah. You have one. Okay, so yeah, that's that three different to... ones. Could yours wait? Um, well, I think that... I think that the one that Danielle and myself and a bunch of other people ended up working on, I think that that would work really well to inform okay. the discussion we're having. Um, you know, just trying to get like some collective grievances and collective demands over a course of multiple GAs just so that everyone has a chance to contribute. Okay. We might not be able to make that particular GA, I mean. I also think maybe two to five goals is uh, a little short, actually. Um, I think it's going to look more like 10, maybe even 12, um, because uh, because of the, the vast amount of things that we should be caring about. Um, if it is uh, for a year? Mm -hmm. For a year, yeah. That's why I'd like, I, I think three months might even be too short and, tw and 12 might be too long, so I'm thinking maybe six, but that's all, you know, it's kind of semantics and I'll go with whatever the group wants to, I don't really care. Um, um, but I'm thinking six months because each of these action, each of these things is going to need a lot of planning, and that's what people are yearning for is like a ton of planning and a ton of opportunity to plan for each thing. Um, so the no schedule for GA is what's really concerning me because I have no idea when other proposals. Are, this seems to be dominating everything. Other people might have stuff. That's only in this room that people want proposals. There might be a ton of other stuff. Um, and when are announcements in this? Because are, are we just following the regular GA format? Essentially, with um, with yeah, well, with yeah. soapbox moved up for mm -hmm. okay, and that would be after a general announcement. And then I'm wondering if tactics and objectives after we figure out what the goals are, maybe even over a few GAs, if tactics and objectives can't then move to task forces for each goal, um, because I'm not sure that tactics, ta especially tactics, need to even be in a GA. No. Okay, and objectives to me seems seems small enough to also just be in task forces, but that's just a personal opinion. Yeah. Um, uh, Chris, and then Isaac, and then Josh. Oh. Did you have information about Phyllis? Yeah, um, just I was under the impression that um, consensus points would, from 2011 would still govern our activities in 2012. Yeah. So, I mean, if it was a point of consensus that we would hold off GA until the 8th, and then the previous points of consensus which say that we have four GAs a week and govern which states they are, would therefore, I believe, say that we have a GA Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. So why there's confusion, I'm not really sure. Because it's a it Regard, that's what I was trying to, exactly what he was saying was, what, I'm try, was yeah. what I was trying to say when you came in here, because I would be led to believe that there would be those four a week. Yeah. Granted, there's proposals that people want to make to not have it happen very quickly, because we have two very packed weeks, mm -hmm. and a lot of people want to work on other stuff than going to four GAs a week. So that's why I think it's very important for that proposal to be, go ahead and go through. Mm -hmm. So, I, I don't know. I mean, I cannot go to, four, I'm going to the General Assembly, I'm going to Virginia General Assembly a lot in the next weeks. I can't go to four, four GAs a week. Also, we have GAs now at the General Assembly, that's quite a point, point of information, yeah. the GA is, like, or the General Assembly, Virginia General Assembly, is 60 days. Yeah. Like, so that, like, if we, if we, if that's, if that's going to be one of our top five goals, which I think it will be, that's going to cover 60 days. That's going to get us through yeah. the middle of February, if not the end. Yeah. Right, what I'm saying... Um, can we finish up the stack before yeah, we get to this discussion? Yeah, I, absolutely. I just want to clarify that uh, bills pass really quickly and things happen very, very, very fast. You don't have 60 days at all. HB1 could pass so quickly, and as a female, I'm very concerned about that. I do not have 60 days to wait on that, and I will abandon shit here altogether to do that stuff for that time. Like, I want to be able to take birth control pills if I want to. Me too. Go ahead, Chris. Um. <laughs> 
Claire hit on so many beautiful points that I was uh, going to bring up. But um, first point I wanted to say, I think we should have a, a pretty regular GA schedule with Graham's idea built in there as an agenda point. I think it is very, very important to start working on setting goals as soon as possible. It's going to be a packed month, a huge year, and I think one of the biggest um, complaints I guess people have about um, Orva is direction. They want to know where we're going, what we're working on, and I think if we get this will started, it's not saying that we can't add anything later, that we can't take anything or adjust. We have that ability. So I think it's really, really important as soon as we can, the eighth, to start getting this roadmap to put in place. Um, I think that's also a help with confusion. If we ha kind of have an idea of what we're going to be working on, people can kind of know when to, when they can pop in, when, if we're really going to be working on this, like let's say in February and you know, January, February, March, they're like, okay, well, I know I can focus up a lot of my attention on this point. I think it's Again, really important to start that conversation as soon as possible. Does it need to be the whole GA for for this? Maybe not, because like I said, I think it's going to be important to have a soapbox time. Um, I would like to see proposals come up. And um, second point, um, just really quickly, I think it was already addressed by Claire though too, and uh, Josh. We already have a, a predetermined um, GA schedule for for ourselves. Um, which I was assuming, and most people I've spoke to were assuming we're going to follow once we get started again. But I do have a proposal that I'm going to make on the 8th if there's time for proposals, which I hope it is, to limit those GAs because, again, crazy year and even crazy January and February. Oh my God, like, I can't even, I can't even keep up with everything that's going to be going on. So I think us to back up on the GA, um, our GAs, and focus on some of these other smaller projects and really kind of reinforce um, the work groups and, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, affinity. affinity groups, really enforce that idea. Um, I think it's extremely important. I'm going to shut up now, randomly. Thank you. Um, okay, let's go. <clears throat> I think, for one, it's really imperative that we decide when the GAs after will be. Um, and I think, to some degree, also decide on some of the agenda items um, for those GAs so that we can get the ball rolling and not like have a really good first GA where we know what we're doing and the second GA we just like, you don't know. Um, I think a lot of people will come to this GA expecting somewhat of the same pattern and maybe having some content to fit into that pattern. Um, I feel like we need a spot for events or um, for work group announcements for um, in general announcements um, and even uh, hard like maybe hard proposals if people have fit them. I don't think indirect proposals need to be in there, um, but I feel like those pieces should be allowed just because people will be um, assuming that something is coming on in that direction. Um, I feel also that. Um, I think that we need the goals. I think if those things take too much time, then the strategy for the goals can go to a different day, and that will allow people to mull over those and have some ideas beforehand. Um, and that's all I had. I, yeah, I was about piggybacking off of what you're saying. Um, goals. Um, I'm thinking would leave enough time for, you know, other things to happen in GA, as he was saying, as far as proposals go. Um, I don't know if people sit still for a three-parter on strategizing. Um, so maybe, like, two sessions with, like, you have the goals for, on the 8th. Then you have objective and tactics, or just objectives, maybe. Um, next GA. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm allowed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Does it seems more manageable that way? Because I don't think people sit still for a three-parter, but I do think after tactics it can be broken off into objectives elsewhere, not in GA. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's all I said. Um, yeah, I, I'm a bit unclear, like, I kind of wanted to motion to, because we're running out of time, we have eight minutes, and I think Nicole's after me and then Ron's going to speak, but, um, uh, and the attempt to decide something tonight, maybe, um, do we want to try to see if we like Graham's strategy agenda process, or what are we going to figure out to do with that? Personally, I think it's a really good agenda, um, but maybe it should go to GA on Sunday as a formal proposal. I don't know if that is contrary to what was decided at the GA, at the Boone's camp that was leading up to this. Um, but as I say, like, you could, I, I don't know what came out of that proposal, but it could be like proposed that this happens at the next GA Sunday. There's obviously things that people want to come and we need to have some sort of our normal, we need to have those announcements and we need to obviously address these the GA schedule concerns. Um, and there's time sensitive issues like the Virginia General Assembly and I'm a bit concerned as to why we're gonna say like, all right, we'll go and figure out our goals and maybe that'll be something that comes out and maybe we'll get to work on that and then discuss objectives and tactics. Like, I understand it's a two month thing, but there, there is a lot going on this week. And I think some people are just gonna be jumping into that either way. So I don't, I don't personally feel the need to like decide a bunch of goals. Um, anyways, so I'll pass it on. I have a point of clarification on that, and that is just bringing up uh, what Isaac said about the Virginia General Assembly and what others have said about the fact that we might need to um, set times for other meetings right after this. I mean, I want to know why we don't just say we're going to start our meetings down at the Capitol grounds and that also I'm going to make a proposal. Um, that that's where the meetings are. I'm going to propose it before the General Assembly so meeting, and I have. Chris, I'm going to propose your question it. is why we're not. Doing why that we're not doing that? that. Yeah, why we're not setting meetings, and why we're not specifically. Because that well, that was something that the GA can talk about. This is not for a facilitation conversation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was um, yeah. Um, well, what I was going to say is. Uh, I do too. That's, um, that's why I'm putting it out there. Well, I do too. I'm trying to get back on my train of thought because that just kind of threw me off. Um, okay. Um, so, um, I like the idea of having the goals, um, for, um, the things we would be doing at the GA on Sunday, but, um, to, um, talk back what Josh was talking about, um, the students, um, don't go back to school until the 17th, and I'm, I mean, I live in the city, but not all the students live in the city, and I know they have valid points that they might want to do for goals. So I think it would be um, maybe more relevant to have a short-term goal um, meeting uh, be a, the objective for the GA on So we Saturday. decide how long these goals would be set for? Well, yeah, I was or saying like how, how much of a time period we're strategizing for. Is it three months, six months, 12 months? What is it? Well, well no, what I'm, okay. Um, what I'm saying is for the Sunday one, because there are time sensitive things like the, the Virginia General Assembly, um, and there's time sensitive stuff actually be, even before the students get back, um, there, there are um, events happening uh, in the city to um, focus on. So maybe if there is a short term goal um, meeting, even for stuff that's happening like now. Like, then it would be maybe a little more effective and then have um, redress the goals um, when when more people are in attendance. Did you have a question for me? I have some things to say and I have to leave an eight, but you've been waiting very patiently. Okay, um, okay. I, I hear what everybody's saying. Um, I th I'm just this is my, my, there's one thing that has not been mentioned tonight. Uh, I know Claire and a bunch of people. Um, we've talked about this having a um, work group 
oriented GA, I think people need um, time to know that they're going to spend three and a half hours discussing strategy. So I think that this uh, Sunday's GA should be um, just sort of the standard, um, you know, agenda that we've been running with. Um, have it announced that the following week that um, that the um, vision building will happen, and then the following that week there will be the work groups um, specific GA. So that it's like, all right, here's welcome back. Here's what we've all been doing. Next week, strategy. Next week, up application. I think that would be very good. Also, if we give people like these next three meetings will be important for specific reasons. Like, and then make sure to attend the next three. Exactly. Yes. And I think I can get everybody, and that gives time for everybody to get back in school a little bit. Um, and we have to. Uh, Graham, let's uh, hear from him, and then we're gonna close. I don't. Yeah, yeah. We're just gonna say we should probably figure out what we're doing. <laughs> we haven't really tip checked anything yet. I like uh, what he said. Yeah, I think that's. That, <laughs> I think that's. I, I'm down with what with Josh just said. I, I don't really. I'm getting pissed with, off with what Josh just said. Okay. I'm getting really pissed off. I don't get pissed off very often. Um, what I want to point out is that we're we're worried about co-opting. Like people, or we're worried about like there's concerns about. God, now I can't even think straight, and I'm really tired. Uh, excuse me, guys, but um, we're worried about this doing, making this a goal session, and that leaving people out and co-opting people. But I, we're forgetting that this has been on the docket for three weeks, and everybody's been aware of this, and people left to go home planning to come to this GA to focus on this stuff, you know, and. I mean, the last GA that we had, like the last time we had an official Occupy Richmond event, this was the plan for this GA. Mm -hmm. And all of this stuff has been work group meetings and facilitation team stuff. So we're worried about co-opting, but if we're going to change the schedule that's been planned for three weeks for a GA and like and do something entirely different, then I mean, that may be what facilitation can do, but I want to take into account that like the last official thing that was planned at a GA was to make this a strategizing thing. Mm -hmm. um, I'm okay with changing it, but we cannot change it unless you go into that GA first thing and say, hey, everybody, we'd like to change this thing. We can't go in and say we're definitely going to not talk about strategy day because a bunch of students are here. I mean, that sucks, <laughs> but, but students can also come back if they really like want to be a part of this meeting. So... Yeah. I'm going to go, um, and I'm actually fine with whatever you all do, um, if, if, like, but what I'm saying is that it's got to be, like, we've got to plan, we've got to be ready to go to this meeting and talk about strategy, because that was the plan agreed upon at GA, and if 50 people show up ready to talk about strategy, because that's what they've been planning for the last three weeks, then we've got to either do that or convince all those people that they should postpone that for a week when they may not be able to make it the next time, you know? So, so that's my point, is that we need to be ready to talk about this, even if, even if it's fine and we can push it. And then if we can, then I think having a normal GA is a great thing, and giving more time is always a good thing. But I also definitely agree that we don't, like, that we need to get this stuff done early. And, um, and just what I'll throw in the mix right before I go is that if we go for a normal GA, which again, as long as the GA is okay with that, I'm pretty supportive of it. And what I would propose is a normal GA and give the last section as a formal proposal to talk about this and then possibly talk about a three-month strategy leading into a larger, like, 12-month strategy, because that seems like there's some agreement, at least in this group, that focusing on a shorter-term thing would be good. And there's a lot of interest we know in the Virginia General Assembly, so maybe we can even just consense that we're going to say our strategy, you know, our primary goal, short-term, is Virginia General Assembly, and then st continue to work on the other goals that'll fit into that, but at least give something to this whole strategy thing. So, um... Is there any way well, that we could keep that? Well, I, I gotta go too. You wanna keep this? I, they, I'm happy they might for want you all to keep this. Because um, they might want to keep it. Well, I can type that up. Yeah, I'll, I'll type it up. Yeah, you I can I can cost scan it too. Um, I trust you guys completely. I just was getting more interested. Can you? Graham, do you have another package? It's 802, folks. I don't. When you, when you type that, will you just send that? Yeah, we'll wrap it up. Can we, can we um, <laughs> just, just so that we have some consensus before we all leave?
Can we temp check real quick just the two the two ideas whether we want to go with um, Ron's proposal on a mostly similar basic GA strategy or Grant's proposal with the incredibly modified but pertinent strategy? Um, can we can we get a temp check real I, quick? I on thought what he sorry well, we haven't really decided on anything yet unless I miss something. Um, just, just vote for the one that I said. I thought what he said was. That the first one will be. There's, there's a third option too. Yeah. I think I mean, me and you right. kind of no, uh, want, want a similar thing where just kind of goals out of this mm -hmm. meeting and kind of the regular yeah. meeting too. Yeah. So that's a third option. Okay, so. So, sort of a fusion of the two, then using the regular meeting structure and then using the formal proposals we get from that structure to inform our goals. Is that what I'm hearing? Uh, de developing goals, but then also having the regular meeting with the uh, the goals inserted, basically. We have to have the goals. It was part of the proposal that was passed. Right. Well, to talk, start talking about the goals. I just looked through on the website and the Facebook, and there's nothing terribly explicit about how we're going to go about that at all. Fair enough. I'm just saying, it has to be part of it because we won't have to be for it. I'm willing to meet on Friday or Saturday to continue this discussion in broader detail with anybody interested in joining. Just throwing that out there. Text me if there's not a meeting here. Thanks. Nice. So again, can we can we get a temp check real quick? Do it. I mean, I'm, are those the only three options? Because, I mean, I, I've been discussing other options the whole time that the GA hasn't been meeting strategy sessions, different meetings with Occupy the Hood, Occupy mm -hmm. Richmond, and a lot of people think that there's too much structure in it and they want just free speech all the time and proposals coming out of that, less limitations and less red tape to go through and uh, more autonomy for the people uh, rather than less. So. I would throw that out as an option uh, uh, as well. Um, I'm going to check the three. Okay. All right. So um, standard formatted GA with moving soapbox. Do that. Um, have to actually um, bring that up in that the GA. for this. Okay. This is for the strategy. Wait, okay. Three. Uh, Grant's proposal of the strategy. Um, the standard um, format with soapbox moved up, and then the less. Um, how would you describe it? Less formulated? Less formulated and take the word soapbox away and say free speech for all zone exclusively in the meetings with order agreed upon by, by uh, uh, consensus. All right. So what would a, would a fourth one be to say to go in there and say like we're willing, like we can do this strategy thing if everybody in the room wants to do that? But propose and like present an option to do something else and just see what the GA wants to do. So, so GA consensus doesn't mean anything. What we consensed on at the last GA right. doesn't mean anything. Okay. I mean, it wouldn't be the first. Time. That's 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 yeah. that's. Yeah. I agree I, with you. If, if yeah. it was I think it's yeah. Uh, that's it's amazing, I, either a decision. Means that's something. what I was trying to say. Is I don't There's know if it's yeah. contrary. If off. if the decision was made, there was a proposal made and passed at the last GA. Right. It's Graham's right. proposal. He knows right. what it is. And it seems like that he's okay with us changing it, but it's not 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 really. Like well, I'm okay with it. I'm only okay with it changing if the GA is okay with it changing. Yeah. It's, it's not up to Grant. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's, <laughs> that's, that's my point. Has, yeah, his point is you have to ask the GA if we, they want to do something else. Can we yeah, but that puts facilitation in a very yeah. sticky situation. Yeah, right. We not need to know what we're getting into. Totally all sorts of sticky structure of GA to have the conversation about the goals. I think that's where we're all getting stuck Now we get up to on. this meta GA. That it's not good. That's not going to be a good scene. It's sure. not going to be the kind of driven GA where we're going to um, make good use of our time, yeah. stick to points. When does that happen? Proposal to one special one. events. Can I you you emailed well, your proposal well, to special yeah. events that but was passed. You know what? Right. You it's on, it's on, on every Facebook page. I put it on like everything. Can I interject with someone? As somebody who hasn't been in this discussion, I've I came with the understanding that what that Graham's proposal last GA was what we were sitting here planning on. Regardless of uh, who, you know, what, who, what, when, where, what, what was agreed upon in GA was the law of the land, and that's what we're we are sitting here discussing. The law of the land. And uh, we and so that we need to 
that's, I mean, I don't know what else has been proposed. I honestly don't care what else has been proposed because that's not what we had agreed upon doing. Um, and, and so, I don't care what the vote is, I'm voting with what was agreed upon in GA. Yeah. Or else, what the hell are we even doing, deciding things in GA for? I got a clarification on that one. I mean, you have a question? I have a clarification. You have a question? That's what question. Yes, people don't honestly believe that <coughs> that what a proposal is at a general assembly is the law of the land. That really that really doesn't doesn't mean anything. I don't think that literally. Well, that's 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 I just want to get clarification. That's a question. Well, we don't believe that. All right. So we have I guess now four um do you want to combine? Do you just want to get rid of yours and make yours the proposal that if GA approves to do the strategy meeting, then we will do it? No. I mean, okay. So no. Are so we we're doing four. The whole room? We're doing I four. Was, I know, but is that one no, that we're tip checking? I was asking Graham a specific no, question. It's the opposite. If GA approves to have a, a, a normal GA just to get back into the swing of things, and wants to do that and focus on other proposals and postpone strategy. That's the right language. We plan to do strategy now. If we want to go to if, if facilitation wants to go to GA and ask, it, do we need to postpone? Like, fine, but it, like, but this is I don't know this. The point of this meeting was not to second guess the GA that we're going to have on the eighth. It was to plan for the GA that we're going to have on the eighth. And this whole conversation is beside the point. It really is. So everything anybody says who disagrees is null and void in your mind. Yes. Yeah. 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 I thought we were just go back. I thought we, okay, we are going to check. Um, just these four real quick. Um, standard GA with soapbox moved up. All in favor? Up. Okay, all opposed? Do I, okay, I don't need to do that. Um, free speech zone for all GA. Fingers up. Okay. Um, the plan to do strategy GA, which Graham discussed. Okay. Um, and then the last one is, um, the last one really I think is not. It's just starting and then asking to do that one. So, so we've done the temp check. It's been taken. Do it. Meeting adjourned. What? Alright, now I ask my question. Can, 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 I got, uh, is anybody no, interested in meeting uh, again? Some of us are going to meet tomorrow at the radio station. Alright, that's not the point. Is anybody interested in meeting Friday or Saturday to further discuss these issues? I don't know about time Saturday. We're going to have a plan different meeting. She already planned very thoroughly and actively. I guess nobody's interested in meeting. I mean, well, I just said I was. I know. I'm, I'm and I think a lot of people in here really are really But a lot of people are going to be in one place on Saturday, and maybe we can meet up later that night because we'll all be together. That's what Not we, can all get we can get something going then. Right now, I don't think anyone can think. Okay, so this conversation is not over by afterwards. If that's it, cool. not it didn't even start. Yeah. Uh, the real conversation didn't even start. start at all, so. I mean. Can I just throw a question? <laughs> yes, yeah. Chris. Or I'm going all around. You know, yeah. Can I just throw I'm all right. So, I'm listening to this. I so so frustrated right now. So so frustrated right now because we decided on something that we were supposed to be doing. We didn't get to that in this meeting. Um, simply, I we should have been planning for this meeting to happen. Um, Part of the reason we're in this cluster fuck or whatever you want to call it <laughs> a lot of the times is because we're not following through what we say we're going to do. We're not planning for what we're going to do. So we're running around with our pants at our ankles all the time. That's why people get frustrated. That's why people get confused. That's why people leave. That's why people feel like they can't keep up with what's going on because we're not following through. Yep. This meeting was to plan Sunday. Now, you know, I made a suggestion earlier. Again, I think it is important that we hear, have a soapbox, and I think, you know, obvious announcements, because it is a GA. We have the structure, but we can sense that GA's meeting, the agenda point for Sunday's GA was this strategy planning. 
and we didn't get to that at all because we we're, I guess, trying to figure out ways to get around what we decided we were going to do. So now, I'm leaving this meeting with no idea about what we're going to do Sunday. I don't, I don't know how anybody else feels about that, but I'm, I'm a little pissed off about the, it. The bottom know? line is that the, the, sh the shame is that we didn't change how anything is going to happen on Sunday. All we did is, is prove, once again, facilitation and Occupy Richmond can't get organized, can't get their shit together. To Isn't there supposed to be a meeting for an hour before the GA anyway with Coco and everything? Mm -hmm. Do we have everyone's emails? Why don't we just stay in touch? Because I know, Ron, you have things to do. That's why we had to end the meeting at 8. I mean, what we have here, we have two really solid proposals, as to, or several really solid proposals as to how we can move forward. And there is a way we can synthesize these proposals, as we always do, really pretty well. I don't think anyone was trying to take away the strategizing from the meeting. I just thought that the way the proposal was structured in the get-go was everyone get together for three weeks and think of strategies. Then when we come together on, two, or on Sunday the 8th, we would propose these strategies, not talk about strategies more, right? It would be talk about it for three weeks, come together and propose these strategies. So I think that the two can go together yeah, honestly, without... My my big, like, the reason that I have, like, the, the stand-up thing is because I did not understand when you put that proposal out that you were trying to reformulate that, the GA, which yeah, and that was is sort part. of, that's what it's like, because some, um, what is it, uh, some end. goals that you say are, like, proposals can be goals, but proposals are not necessarily goals right. in the way that you formulated them. For instance, um, the proposal. I don't understand why that's germane to the topic. Mm -hmm. why, why, why is that an issue? Why, why is the, the precise disposition of a goal within our process an issue for you? I don't understand what you're... The difference between a goal and a proposal. Some proposals... A proposal you're talking for about a part of the process and something that isn't part of the process. A goal is not a part of our process. A goal is something we're going to be discussing within our process. Okay. But we're, you're not proposing goals? He's not a changing, he's not saying. changing the normal agenda at all. That's just the only proposed, that's the only agenda point on the menu. Exactly. I mean, on the okay. thing, it's not The proposal changing. is to do this thing so that, that he, is the agenda. That's the, which, that's the predetermined, which we were supposed to do, agenda point. Okay. But it never state. said that it was going to be exclusive away from other proposals, and I think that's the issue we're encountering here, is that a lot okay. of people yeah. Under yeah, that thinking that, thinking that we were taking three weeks that. to strategize right. and make proposals to make Orva better, that's right? Really people right. have spent the last three <laughs> weeks yeah. making new proposals to make Orva better, right. and they were expecting to vet right. those yeah. this yeah. Sunday. And the way people, I think that the way we're interpreting the agenda you've put together is that we're going to be talking about goals, not concrete proposals with any authority to them. Um, and people were prepared to come and make those. So I think that that could be fit into the typical agenda structure simply if we get the blessings from GA. Because GA never said part of this proposal is that we will change the structure of GA on that day to exclude formal proposals. I think that if we're going to get really technical about it, that would be the interpretation. Right. Yeah. And I th I th <laughs> so no, I mean, go ahead. Okay. Uh, temp check on about uh, during GA. Maybe you could temp check on how much time to spend on goals, and that could be a equal solution for everybody here, seemingly. So what I'd like to clarify is it it does seem clear that there's been some miscommunication, and we're starting to work that out, which is fabulous. Yeah. Um, the proposal was pretty clear that the that the, the thing was about was about creating an overarching strategy for 2012, which is not concrete small proposals about how to change the facilitation process or change GA structure or things like that. And it also was pretty clear that the process would be to to take in ideas, break into small groups, put them up on a board, and then temp check them. That was exactly lined out in the proposal. So this is going off of that. Um, that said. I think you guys make a really good point that if we're going to be clear to the process we've established before, we have to maintain some of these things that like like soapbox and, and like announcements and working group announcements because those are a part of the structure. So what if just to, as an idea, as a way to like maybe like fit this all together is that we have a basic structure like we've done it before. Um, we try and keep announcements and, and stuff quick, although that's really tough. Um, 
and then go into this kind of a thing. And then if we finish this, roll into other, like be clear that other proposals can come, but this is the first proposal, the first agenda point is, I mean, that's what we agreed upon is that we were going to focus on this. And if we just start launching into other agenda points, unless people, you know, unless there's a mass outcry to postpone or whatever, you know, like this is what was agreed upon to focus on, on this meeting. Can we just temp check that? Is that possible? Yeah. And the o the only thing that you know that I think I don't know. I mean, the o the only like change to process that came up here was moving soapbox forward. Essentially, mm -hmm. I think and there were some people in the room that thought that would be productive towards a number of things, but that would be changing the process, which we were are talking pretty clearly about not wanting to do. So, <laughs> not me. I want to change the process completely. Oh, totally and, and, and there was another not proposal. Sunday. Not Sunday. well. I want to stop it before Sunday. Sunday. Okay. What if um, what if you do goal yeah. setting till you've got three concrete and then have everybody else's proposals? Is that the mean? Only, the only thing the only thing that I'm seeing with this is that I, I hear about people putting together proposals that would inform the goals that we're making. You know, even the proposal of reducing GA to two a week is a strategy mm -hmm. to improve Occupy Richmond, right? There are proposals like the, like the, the, the manifesto that's coming out. Maybe this is just me being personally involved in this, which is entirely possible. That would inform the goals that we make. There, people have been creating proposals to strategize, and then that doesn't fit into the structure that you've put together. I think that that's where we're having some dissonance here. Are those uh, formal proposals or informal proposals? I called, I we just want to get together <laughs> again at the COCO meeting, which we're supposed to do anyway. People are constantly getting together. People are always strategizing. People were meeting at Hollywood Cemetery. People are meeting all the time. And strategies are being put in place all the time. 3.30 on Sunday, we have our COCO facilitation meeting. Perhaps we can figure things out there. I'll be there. I need a cigarette. So, okay, I'm, 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 I'm not quitting we spent well, two hours really not yeah, really no, deciding no, on any agenda no, points. No, we, no, we have one. Well, we have one, I was like, one agenda we point, but like, we could help you all stop and one. Suppose, never mind. I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm,